how to automatically send email for every tidical booking so tidical is an appointment booking software and assume that i have scheduled an appointment here and if anyone will book that appointment i will show you how you can instantly send an email to the very same person along with all the appointment details so if you also want to learn how you can automate this process then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of tidical where i have scheduled an appointment this is just a 30 minutes appointment and i want that if anyone is booking an appointment from here the same person should receive an email automatically so to automate this email sending process firstly i'll have to build an integration in tidical and gmail application and i am going to do that with pabli connect which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software i am an existing user of pabli connect so here you can notice i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as automatically send email for every tidy gal booking now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes okay so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this okay so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail app application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever any new booking is arrived via tidical booking software via tidical booking application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so that is why i have selected a gmail here in the action window okay so i have selected both the application in the trigger as well as the action window okay and now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with the public connect all right i'll have to wait for this logo to be appear here okay all right so let us first connect a tidy cal with the public connect so firstly you will have to select the trigger even that is we want that whenever any new booking is arrived this automation should trigger so that is why i'll go with the same now simply click on connect then click on add new connection click on connect with the tidy cal and then you will have to provide the access of your tidy cal account well because i am already logged in into tidy cal account uh, it is not as asking me the access you will notice that the authorization will be successful and tidical will be immediately connected with the public connect all right so tidical is connected with the public connect now as soon as you click on that button you will notice that the booking details the most recent booking details will be automatically captured as a response in this public connect dashboard okay so that is why i am going to make a fresh a new booking in front of you and then i will click on that button and you will notice how the most recent booking details will be captured via public connect okay so i am going to book an appointment for 28th of july and the timing is going to be how about i select the timing as 1 30 pm okay so let me also provide some random basic details so name here i will add something like demo user again i am adding dummy information only demo at the rate pablitudes.com is going to be the dummy email address and let me also add a dummy phone number something like this all right so i have provided all the details here you can notice 1 30 pm clicking on this book event button and as soon as the booking is made all right i'll have to wait here you can notice the booking is confirmed coming back and now i'll click on that button and you will notice that the most recent booking details will be captured via pabli connect in this response okay so here you can notice we have the same dummy number also let me also show you other details and here you can notice we also have the start and the end date and timing of the booking okay 
but you will notice a difference in the timing here you can notice we have the start timing as 8 am okay but remember we have booked this appointment for 1 30 this is because this current timing the timing which we have captured as a response has been captured into the utc format so don't worry about that we can easily convert that utc timing uh, with the help of Pavli connect i'll show you how you can do that okay now let me show you other details also so here we have the booking type title also that is appointment booking for salon here you can notice appointment booking for salon let me also show you other details here we have the slug of the appointment and where are the details of the person who has booked an appointment okay so the meeting was of 30 minutes all right and finally we have the email address and the name of the person also who has booked an appointment okay and here is the dummy phone number also that is 9666s okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between tidycal software and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards if anyone is going to book any appointment into the tidycal software those appointment details will be captured via pabli connect in every 10 minutes because the trigger here is the polling based okay and this trigger will check for the new data in 10 minutes okay and once this data is arrived what should be done so basically an email should be sent to the same person who has booked an appointment with us okay so how you can automate this process firstly select the application then select the action event then connect to this application with the public connect just like we have connected tidical with the public connect okay and then you will have to provide the access of your gmail account okay but i have provided this access multiple times okay so i can go with the existing connection only and if you want to do the same make sure that in the first time you go with the new connection and after that you can also go with the existing connection and here you can notice once we are connected it is asking me several details which are actually required for sending an email like the recipient email address the cc bcc sender name and email subject line all right okay so let us provide the details one by one firstly it is asking for the recipient email so remember we have already captured the email of this person and the interesting thing is i'm not going to manually copy this detail and paste it here okay basically i'm going to map this detail and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down search for your data all right so where is the email address let me search it with the help of at the rate all right so i have mapped it okay and in this way i am going to map other details also and what is the significance of mapping so if you will provide any detail manually here this detail will remain same for every booking okay but if you will map any value this detail will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time how about i add something like pabli connect as the sender name you can provide your sender name email subject line all right so i want that the name of the person should appear here so let me search for the full name that is demo user i will add a comma also here and then further i will add something like booking is confirmed Alright, so my subject line is looking good asking for the reply to email content I will of course is going to be plain okay asking for the email content finally so basically from here only you can compose your email okay so I have already prepared a short email so how about I directly copy this email and paste it here in this field and let me first correct the formatting of this email okay after this hello I want that the name of the person should appear so again i'm going to map this value and as i have told you whatever the details you will add here with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so i am adding the title of the appointment your appointment for appointment booking for salon is confirmed okay or how about i'll add something like 
appointment booking for salon is confirmed this is looking even better okay here are the details of the appointment and one by one i will attach all the details like the name of the person email address booking date time okay please arrive 15 minutes before the meeting and thanks lastly i'll add this okay so again i'm going to map this detail let me map the name of the person well where is the name of the person asking for the email address asking for the booking date and time so i have already told you that currently the timing which we have captured in this response is actually different because this is actually into the utc format okay so i can simply change this timing with the help of date and time formatter feature which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can perform various kind of operations within your date within your workflows okay so currently i just want to modify the date i just want to format the date along with the time zone so i'll select the same same simply click on connect it will be connected immediately and now it will ask you that which date you would like to change okay so again i will map the start date which was all right so here we have the start date asking for the from format okay so currently i have the from format as y y y y m m d d t and then h h m m s s and here we have the z design okay so from format is going to be the same which is already selected here in two format here well you can select your format your own choice format okay so how about i select a simple format something like yyyy mmdd hh mmss okay so i have selected the same and in the two time zone i will select utc i'm sorry in not into the two time zone you will have to select in from time zone something like utc and etc okay where is that etc slash utc and in the two time zone i'll select asia slash kolkata okay let me do the same and then i'll check whether it is giving me the correct timing or not which was 1 30 pm okay and here you can notice we have 13 30 which means a uh, 1 30 pm only okay so we finally have the correct date and timing well that date and time was also correct it was due to the time zone difference okay so let me map this date and time okay but before that i'll have to change my end date and time also but along with the start date and time i'll have to change the end date and time also okay so instead of adding this step from the scratch simply click on this three dot and click on this clone button all right so basically you can click on this three dot and click on this copy button and further you'll have to click on this paste step button okay so what will happen the same step will be pasted here okay let me show you the same step has been pasted how about i rename this step so that i don't get confused okay this is actually the end date and time end date and time all right so i have added this clicking on update and it the step has been renamed now i just need to change the date because this was the start date but currently i am actually changing the format of the end date so let me map the same and i think rest of the values are going to be the same how about i click on this button directly and you will notice that i will get the timing of after 30 minutes that is 14 that is 2 pm okay and now now I can easily map these details okay so where is my email all right so I was about to add the details here why it is showing undefined I'll have to check all right so I think I'll have to refresh this automation but if I will refresh it what will happen my gmail step will be removed because it is not saved yet so how about I directly click on this connect button and click on save and you will see my automation will be refreshed and I am expecting that details will be added here or automatically okay all right so i have corrected the formatting of my email now finally i will map the start and the end date and from which particular step i will map this detail well for the start date and timing i will map this particular result and in the end booking date and time i will map the response here okay i will map the details from this particular result okay just in case if you want to uh, add the date and timing separately you can also do the same for that 
that you will have to split this date and time which again you can do with the help of text formatter feature so all you have to do is to click on this plus icon before your gmail step and after that you can apply text formatter feature and there you will find an option of split okay so you can actually split the date and time with the help of a space okay so this is how you can do that but this is going to increase one more step so that is why i am not adding this okay i'll keep my email short as it is please arrive 15 minutes before the meeting okay thanks okay so i think i have added all the important details now i'll click on this button and firstly i will wait for the response to receive here and if the response is received here you can notice the response result status is saying sent so let me go back to my gmail account and refresh it and wait for the email to arrive here and the email is here and here you can notice it is the same subject line that is demo user booking is confirmed hello demo user appointment booking for salon is confirmed okay here we have all the appointment details that is the name of the person email address the start booking date and time and end booking date and time okay so this is how you can automatically send the email to the same person who has booked an appointment with you with the help of pably connect yes if you will create this workflow inside pably connect for once after that you do not have to do anything manually okay simply set this automation inside pably connect once and sit back and relax because again pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end just in case if you want to access this four step automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach this link into my description box okay so simply click on this link and then sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video